Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today I'm going to be giving you a beginner's guide to using your underground bunker for use in the gun running DLC. So let's get started shall we? So to be able to actually buy a bunker you first have to get a call from Agent 14 who tells you that he's looking for someone like you to buy said bunker. For closures and you're just the kind of tenant we want taking it. You'll be starting an underground operation in more ways than one. Log on, click buy and we're in business. Once a phone call has ended, you'll be able to buy any bunker that you want with no issues. Once you buy a bunker and then enter it for the first time, you'll be shown around your bunker by none other than Agent 14 himself. He'll show you all the stuff that you've bought, as well as some of the other amenities that your bunker has to offer. Once that cutscene is over, you'll be able to take a look around the bunker at your own free will, and yes, you can take your fancy new buggies for a joyride. Whee! Oof. Gotta get used to the steering. Anyways, when you want to get down to business, you need to go to your laptop that's located in the R&D department when you're in a public session and then use it to start everything off. At first, you'll need to complete a mission where you basically have to go out and collect some materials at your local ammunition. This starts off your business. It's a pretty easy mission depending on the saltiness of the other players in the session, then once you return with the materials you can get down to business. So you may have noticed that not all of the vehicles that you saw in the pictures and the trailer of the gun running DLC are available right off the bat. What you have to do to be able to buy them and use them is to first research them, which is what your bunker is for. What you need to do is go to staff management and then assign them to research if you want to research all the new vehicles, camos and weapon attachments, and if you want the bunker to make you some money then you can assign the staff to do just that. You can have a balance of the two so you have people working on sellable stock as well as some people working on research and development for your new gear, but as a result both sectors will be slowed down by half so if you have a lot of money I would just recommend you doing your research. When you buy a bunker you also gain the ability to buy a mobile command centre which is basically a moving house if you want to talk about it in layman's terms. It's got facilities for living quarters, you can change your clothes there, you can use it as a weapons platform like using the onboard weapons at the command centre houses, and it can even store one personal vehicle of your choice which is pretty darn cool. Come up with your own strategies for missions using the command centre. It'll be very interesting to see what people can do utilising all the stuff gifted to us by the gun running DLC. So to summarise, your bunker is basically a gigantic clubhouse that you can use as an evil base to do your research and development, as well as creating stock for you to sell off and make some hard earned cash. It's also a parking space for your mobile command centre. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe for loads more GTA Online guides coming to you very soon. See you around!